Hello friends, welcome to the series lecture on network analysis. In this video, we are going to talk about Z parameters. This Z parameters is also called as impedance parameter or open circuit parameter. Now, in this two-port network, if you are preparing for any competitive exams, you will be getting at least one question from this topic. So this topic is very, very important if you are preparing for competitive exams. In this video, I am going to talk about the introduction to Z parameter. What do you mean by Z parameter? how you are going to represent this Z parameters, what are the applications of using Z parameters and I am going to solve one problem based on Z parameter. So what is the need for studying this Z parameter? This Z parameters or impedance parameter are commonly used in synthesis of filter nothing but in order to design a filter at that time you are going to make use of this impedance parameter. Also it is used in the design and analysis of impedance matching networks also it is used in power distribution networks so this is the need for studying z parameters so consider this linear network what is there inside this network i don't know so in order to determine the response of this network what i'm going to do is i'm going to excite the voltages nothing but this one i'm going to call it as a port one and this port i'm going to call it as port two you can call this one as an input port and this one as an output port so this port i am exciting by a voltage source i am going to call that voltage as v1 the current entering into this port i am going to call it as i1 similarly on the output port i am going to connect a voltage source so i am going to call that voltage polarity as v2 and the current entering into the port i am going to call that current as i2 now you are having two voltage source V1 and V2 similarly the currents I1 is getting into the port and I2 is also getting into the port. Now in this Z parameters what I am going to assume is V1 and V2 are dependent parameters nothing but V1 and V2 are a functions of I1 and I2. So this is very very important. In the last class I have discussed six variants of two port network. So the first one is impedance parameter or Z parameters or it is also called as open circuit parameter. So in this two port network I am going to call V1 and V2 as dependent variables. So I1 and I2 as independent variable. The impedance that is looking into the port 1 the impedance that is looking into the port 1 I am going to call it as Z11. Similarly, the impedance I am looking from port 1 to port 2, I am going to call it as Z12. The impedance that is seen from port 2 to port 1, I am going to call it as Z21. Similarly, the output port or the second port impedance, I am going to call it as Z22. So, how I will be getting is V equals to I times of Z, a matrix kind of thing I can write. Or I can also write V1, V2 which is equals to what are the currents that are varying I1 and I2. So the currents that are varying is I1 and I2 and the port parameters are Z11, Z12, Z21 and Z22. So this one how can I write it is V equals to Z times of I. Here what I am assuming is V1 and V2 are dependent variables i1 and i2 are independent variables so i got v equals to z times of i now look at over here we got v1 equals to z11 times of i1 plus z12 times of i2 say suppose if i want to find what is the value of z11 so z11 is given by v1 divided by i1 when i'll be getting is when i2 equals to 0 so this is open circuit impedance parameter nothing but what i'm going to do is i'm going to treat this output current i2 as zero such that i can able to calculate this z11 so upon calculating z11 i'll be getting v1 i1 at i2 equals to zero so this is open circuit impedance parameter so this z11 is input port impedance or i can call it as port one impedance now what is Z12? How can I find Z12 means it is V1 divided by I2 when I will be getting is when I am making this I1 term as equals to 0. When I am making this I1 term as 0. Now what is Z21? Z21 is given by V2 divided by I1. 
v2 divided by i1 when i will be getting when i2 equals to 0 so this is forward impedance this is forward impedance but this is a reverse impedance this is a reverse impedance always you are going to measure the parameter with respect to output to input so here you are measuring with respect to input to output so it is a reverse impedance here it is forward impedance forward impedance means from output to input you are going to take so it is forward impedance but you are going to make i2 equals to 0 here i1 equals to 0 nothing but it is by making open circuit so here you are going to make it as open circuit now what do you mean by z22 so z22 is given by v2 divided by i2 when you will be getting this one when i1 equals to 0 nothing but it is open circuit impedance parameter or open circuit impedance parameter of port 2 or output port here it is port 1 but z22 is port 2 so this is how you are going to find z parameters so in order to get familiar with the z parameters let me solve one problem but before to that we need to talk about symmetrical condition and reciprocal condition given a two port network or given an impedance parameter you need to talk about symmetrical condition and reciprocity condition so when you are going to call it is symmetrical when z11 equals to z22 nothing but input port impedance if it get matches with respect to output port impedance then it is symmetrical when you are going to call an impedance parameter to be reciprocal means whenever z12 equals to z21 nothing but the impedance that is seen from port 1 to port 2 or from port 2 to port 1 that impedance should be the same at that time you are going to call the two port network or an impedance network as a reciprocal or it is going to obey reciprocal as i discussed impedance parameters are commonly used in synthesis of filter useful in the design and analysis of impedance matching network and power distribution network now let us solve a problem based on z parameter so on the port 1 they have connected 10 ohm and 5 ohm is common for both port 1 as well as port 2 now if i am making use of nodal analysis if i am making use of nodal analysis i can call this one as node vx so i can calculate what is the value of this current i can calculate what is the value of this current i can also calculate what is the value of this current but my area of interest is i need to talk about impedance so the short way to calculate the impedance of this network is now look at over here if i am talking about port 1 impedance or z11 so z11 is given by what is the impedance that you are looking so it is 10 and 5 so whenever you are calculating z11 you should assume that 20 ohm is not there or the current is not getting into this 20 ohm whenever the current is not getting drawn at that time voltage across this will be zero so z11 is given by 10 plus 5 so it is 10 plus 5 which is equals to 15 ohm what is z12 what is the impedance that is seen from port 1 to port 2 what is the impedance you are seeing it is 5 ohm it is 5 ohm and what is z21 what is the impedance you are seeing from port 2 to port 1 again it is 5 ohm now what is the impedance that is available in the port 2 or the impedance that you are looking from port 2 what is the impedance it is 20 plus 5 which is 25 so z22 equals to 20 plus 5 which is equals to 25 ohms now i have to represent in z parameter matrix so first thing i have to write z11 z11 is 15 z12 is 5 z21 is 5 and z22 is 25 now please talk about reciprocal as well as symmetry now if i am talking about symmetry what is the condition my condition should be z11 should be equals to z22 is z11 equals to z22 no right whenever z11 is not equals to z22 the circuit is non-symmetrical or you can also call it as asymmetrical or asymmetric in nature now 
I need to talk about reciprocal. So, is my circuit reciprocal? How can I find the reciprocal Z12 should be equal to Z21? Then only I can tell the circuit is reciprocal. Is Z12 equal to Z21? Yes, right. Then the circuit is reciprocal. So, the given network what they have given is non-symmetric and reciprocal in nature. This is how you are going to find Z parameters. In the next video, let us talk about Y parameters. If you have followed with my lecture, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, share this video with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Craving Yan. All the best for your exams. Thank you.